Today we're gonna drop this massive fish trap in these rocks right behind me in hopes to catch some exotic fish, eels, crabs, lobsters, sharks, whatever we can find and stock it inside of our massive saltwater pond. What a fantastic fish trap so far, Jack. I mean, you can't- uh, yeah, yeah, that's nice, Chris. Pick it up. That's a big boy right there. Look at that. 48 by two, redoing the side here, and we have a beautiful entrance for the fish that they're uh, certainly not gonna be able to miss, because I'm a buffalo. Exactly. This trap is coming along very nice. Look at how far along our fish trap has come. But it's not far enough. No. It's gotta go a lot further. No. We have we need, a... We need to put this on there so those slippery eels slide, slide right, right through. In. And we also gotta, you know, finish this up because this is a perfect exit point for a fish. So we're dropping this at the eel spot and we haven't done a giant fish trap there. So we really want this thing to work and we want this thing to catch eels. That's why we're putting this thing on it. Plus it gives it a nice little color because we spray painted this to make it look pretty. Really digging the color of this trap, you guys. It's not even funny. What, green? Yes, dude. It's good. Forest, you can't see it. Forest green, a little suspect for me. It's better than like a bright color trap, you know? Oh, I know. Could have just butchered this whole trap. Yeah. All right, throw it in there. Right there. Boom! It's not gonna stop. Boom, like that. bitch! Dude, it is. Oh, look at what is this eel? Oh, dude, we're done. It might not be zip tied. But it is zip tied at the same time. But I think it's gonna be fine, dude. Okay, listen, it's in the water, so it's got a little bit more buoyancy. I, I give it a 0% chance of working. But if it doesn't work, we still have a hole in the trap. Exactly. Here comes an eel straight inside the trap. Boom. Fingers crossed we're eeling it. Octopus in it. Done. Let's head to the inlet. We got a bit of a different type of bait today. We're going with the calamari. Look at that squid right there. Whole entire squid. These things are excellent to use in the traps because it's very hard for fish to pick apart. So once they're in there, they're gonna be chewing and chewing and chewing rather than putting shrimp inside here and they can chew until it's gone and then they just leave the trap. So we're gonna take all this calamari, throw it inside of the trap. I think we got like 10 pieces. Throw it all inside there. It's excellent bait. And we're gonna throw it right inside these rocks. You guys know just as well as we know that these rocks are loaded with crazy fish, eels, crabs. We've literally caught it all here. We've seen sharks. It's endless the amount of fish you can catch right here inside of this inlet. So let's go ahead. Let's get this trap in the water in a deep spot around these rocks and we'll see what we can find. I hope this thing doesn't float away. If it does, we'll have to put a rock in it. Let's just see. It's a floater. It's a floater. I think we put it in a more secure location. It's such a floater. Chris, can you grab a rock? All right, we got yeah, rocks. Should work. We got rocks, baby. Couple good, nice rocks. Here. <sighs> There's your Why rocks, Jack. Thank you, Chris. Let's put these inside of the trap. Hopefully it doesn't break it. Oh my God, that's so much heavier. That's excellent. Nice rocks, Chris. Thanks, bro. Dual rocks. I think right here is a good spot. We want to be able to keep an eye on it because I know for a fact we're going to see eels come by. Nice. That's actually perfect. The hole is submerged. I think that's gonna be good. Our theory with the red thing, I don't know how well it's gonna stay. We're gonna try. Hopefully the current will blow it right in. Look at that. You can see, look at the current that's coming off the trap here. So those shrimp, or not those shrimp, those squid that are inside there, all that is going throughout the whole entire inlet. So we're gonna see some stuff here soon, baby. We're gonna see some eels. We're gonna see some crazy fish. As soon as we walked up, we saw a blue parrot. Over on the rocks over there, we saw a French angel. No joke, like that big. What else did we see, Chris? We saw, first of all, the French angel was probably two dinner plates combined. It, it was, was massive. The biggest, massive. biggest French angel I've ever seen in my life. Uh, we saw some purple tanks, two purple tanks. One was huge. One was probably like that big, purple tank. I saw the world's biggest pufferfish, like four feet long. Yeah, that, it was massive. But that's a mission in itself. Me and Jack could come and had to spend all day to try to catch that giant puffer. But I think that's a video that you guys would probably want to see. So drop a like on this video if you guys think we should. I'm not kidding. This is how big the puffer was. No, the puffer was massive. It's huge. Take a look at what just came up to the fish trap. He is a little tiny box fish, or actually, not even tiny, actually. He's, he's big. He's pretty damn big. He is, he's all over me. No! Jack, you need to figure it out. I need you to lure him. He turned on a dime. He's on my bait. He's down on the bottom on Watch this. Bait. See him? I'm gonna bring him up to the surface so you can get a look at him. Bring him up, bring him up. See him? Look yeah, how, bait and switch, look bait how and cool switch. that fish, bait and switch. fish is, dude. Bait and switch, bait and switch. Bait and switch, go, 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 go. Grunted, grunted. Jack. I think there's a family of grunts. Dude, he's all over yours. Bait and switch, ready, three. Wait, wait, wait. I'm down there, I'm down there. He's on you. On me like butter. Lost him, lost him, lost eyes. He's going back, put your bait in the water. What do I have? Oh my God, ooh, that's pretty. Look at that thing. 
Look at that thing right there. Baby dog snapper Jack. is super pretty. Not the not the targeted species, but it's beautiful bycatch. Oh my God, Chris, he loves your shrimp. He's he, Right now he's like, oh my God, it's raining shrimp. I'm getting food for days. Jack, Boxer Sean, Boxer Sean, Boxer Sean, Boxer Sean. Get him on, Jack. Boxer Sean, oh my God. Oh. Let's go, I think so. Look at how weird of a fish that is. That is a box fish. I mean, I don't even have to grab him. He sits on my hand like a box. That is so crazy. Have those cool horns right there. Such a small little mouth. That's why Chris couldn't catch him because he had too big of a hook. This guy, I had a tiny little hook and he came in eating. Those horns are actually a heck of a lot sharper than you'd imagine. Really cool blue. What an interesting looking fish. If you guys could feel this, it is like a rock. Look at him. He was eating up all this. Oh my God. What? Dude, look super close. He's got a print like a, like a oh honeycomb. God, honeycomb. Yeah, like a honeycomb. You see that? Super close. He's got a honeycomb print. Well, I think it's called, called a honeycomb box. Oh, really? Jack's making out with it. You're sick. I had to kiss it. <laughs> that is such a cool look. What did it just do to my hand? I think it just took a dump. All it right. looks like cement. Let's release him, Jack. All right, let's get a beautiful release on him. He was literally going to the fish trap, but he couldn't find the entrance. So we let him just, you know, catch him, give him some free food. All right, buddy. What an epic fish. See ya. <laughs> See ya, buddy. That was damn cool. You know what's even cooler, guys? The brand new fish guy hats that are on my head. Take a look at that. The shark jaw with the fish guy and the logo. Are you kidding me? These things are epic. I say it almost every time because we just keep upgrading our quality and our designs and everything. This is my new favorite. This is my new favorite fish guy hat and this is gonna sell so well we're gonna be able to help the ocean in such a big way because we're gonna move so much trash. Take a look at that, get a really good look. Stitch nice, insane detail, super high quality trucker hats. If you guys want them, go down, click the link in the description or head over to shopfishguy.com. You can get your hands on these. These are gonna go quick. I think the current is too strong here, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have to relocate this trap. I think the current's too strong and nothing can find the entrance of this fish trap. So we're gonna move it on the beach side by all those pipes. Is there anything in here? No, I think the current was too much for our boys over here. So let's move this trap to the other side. I think this is a smart decision, Brooke. It's been about a good hour, almost, maybe like 55 minutes. Literally did not see a thing. Let's put them over here. I'm going, I already got my socks wet, so screw it. I'm gonna pull a Psycho Chris here and I'm gonna go in the water with my shoes and socks on. There's a good amount of rock around here. And there's a lot of those baby sergeant majors, some bigger majors. I think that's good. All right, let's let that puppy ferment. In the meantime, we just saw a bunch of cool stuff. We caught that box fish. So maybe we'll see some other cool stuff while we wait. We gotta give this one another probably 45 minutes. So let's see what happens. It's right underneath me. I'm not, I can't, ca I can't, I'm not gonna. I got, I'm, Jack, I'm gonna get him here. You have a I, there's nothing else, Jack. Guys, did you see that baby nurse shark? I literally had him. He bit my hook. He was fully chewing on it, fully chewing on it. I had him hooked. I could have done it. My drag was too loose and, it, and I couldn't hook set him. I, I am just, that was really stupid of me. He swam straight off out, but that, I never seen one that small. It was like this big of a nurse shark. So sick. He wants to swim in this trap though, because we got good fluids. We got good chum all throughout this water here. That's why that baby nurse shark came up. But if you guys want us to come out and, and camp, he probably spooked, he probably won't be back. But we could definitely catch some baby nurse sharks in some fish traps or by rod and reel here, like small guys. That would be so freaking cool. If you guys want us to come back, let us know by dropping a comment. If you guys think I should catch it on the rod or try to fish trap those baby nurse sharks, let us know in the comments. That was sick. I'm very disappointed disappointed in myself. I really wanted that nurse shark, dude. That would've been so cool. Guys, check out our system here. Oh! We, we tied had to a, get smart. We tied a nice little contraption here, so now we can pull it in. Save the okay. shoes. I've been about 40 minutes of dryness, at least trying to dry, and I'm not gonna soak it again. I'm sorry, and Chris is in sneakers too. Single I don't know brain why cells. I wear sneakers here. There's, no, we each, I think, have one. So let's mix two brain I'm cells. pulling. Pull. Oh, talk to me, uh, talk to me. The, 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 it might talk all, to me, talk to me. I might all swim out the front, bro. I can't get it. No, I put the, I put the, I put it this way, the hole. The hole's which way? So it swings them that way. There's the hole, there's the hole, we're flipping. Okay, let's just pull. Please don't break. 
Please don't break. We're coming up on the moment of truth. <laughs> Please don't break. I think you're gonna get your socks wet. <laughs> it's gonna break. We're getting Dude, we got him. Dude, we got him. Multiple. Oh my god, we got families. We got good. Oh, we got good, dude. Families. Multiple eels. Multiple Two eels. fish. Two eels. How are we gonna there. get them out? How are we? Okay, yeah, yeah. Dip, we got eel, dude. Careful, careful, careful. We need a bucket of water. Maybe flip it upside down. There's One eel's eel. out. One eel's out. One eel's out. Get the other rock out. Good work. Oh my god, so many fish, bro. We should drop the trap over here every time. Oh my god. By the pilings. Hurry up, help me get the fish in the water. Look at this guy. We're all out. That thing's sick. Look at this eel, guys. This is the chain eel, the one that we have in the pond as well. Look how sick that eel is. Look at that. Look at that thing. Ah! That thing's sick. He's gone. We have another one literally identical to that. Literally identical. That is so cool. Look at him swimming off. Bye bye, buddy. They all He's going right these back pilings, to the depth. bro, in the rock. These yeah, are but... cool fish actually in here. No, I know. There's some cool ones, ones that I haven't seen before. Look at that eel, dude. That thing is sick. <laughs> that eel is so cool. How many more eels can we damn keep? I though? really was, I was really hoping that we were gonna get that baby nurse shark. I was so confident, bro. I was Look so at confident. That eel right there. Another chain eel. These things, oh my god, they're so weird to hold. I take you home. You slither. You slither, sir. There you go. Damn, dude, They're that's gone. so sick. I love when they swim like that. Fast as lightning. We got a bucket full of fish, though. Look at this one. This is a pinfish. You see those stripes, those blue stripes? That is cool, but these things are literally like needles. Really good bay fish. I know for a fact, pots or pans, smoking that. <laughs> smoking that, dude. <laughs> but I want to keep them. I want to keep them. I know, I kind of want to keep them too, but that's a cool looking fish. You guys. A big ass jelly anemone thing. Yesterday, I was catching some minnows outside, you know, just hanging out at the dock. Two nurse sharks and some giant jacks. I think it's time, that time of the year for a chumming. I think so Because I haven't seen a nurse shark here at this dock in like literally six months, and we finally saw two of them yesterday. Now the water it's getting warmer, all those big fish are gonna start swimming, dude. Yes, sir. We're gonna be all around here. Oh yeah, that's a bite Damn, all day. Dude, I think cats are way further than I thought. <sighs> Nothing here today, guys, but we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. I kind of want the fish that we, that we caught to stay alive. I like when they swim around in the pond and everything, and pots will just eat them in two seconds. So Those we just nice got fillets, dude. some nice fillets for That's the boys. Walmart, right? Win Dixie. Holy crap. Win Dixie. Steal the deal? You guys, Win Dixie is where it's at if you want to buy tilapia. Here's the boys. The boys are ready. Look at Pans though. He's changing the, he's changing back to his original color. It's a chameleon fish hybrid. I guess it's like a two year cycle or something. Have we had this fish for two years? No, not even a year. What? Am I tripping? No way. All right, well, I don't know. I think? I don't know. I feel it's been a long time. Yeah. He's changing back to his black color, but he'll change back to white. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh! They just bit one another. Oh! Pot's such a beast, bro. <laughs> that guy loves his food. I wish I liked food as much as Pot's, because then I'd be big like him. You got another filet for me, Win Dixie? Guys, Jack doesn't start eating meals until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 2.09. I have I only thing I put in my body this morning at 8.30 was coffee, it's not no healthy. water, no food, nothing. And it's I wonder why I'm healthy. skinny, because guess what? I'm out there all freaking day, grinding, making videos for you guys that I don't even eat, and it's not healthy. That's actually fact. I just though. went to the doctor yesterday. Surprisingly, she said that I'm healthy. And I was actually blown away. When I told her my height and weight, she was like, yeah, you're healthy. Well, I'm just okay. saying. Thank you, Jesus, but. I'm not kidding you guys. All day long, five days a week, me and Jack are filming, and Brooke, every single day. Don't even eat, dude. Because we have to film five videos, we have to edit five videos, we have to make five thumbnails, cool. six videos. Now I go to school. Just when you thought I was gonna eat dinner, no, seven o'clock classes for three hours. Woo! Yeah, it's that's the only time I can go to school. Chain eel literally caught two of those today. Come on. Oh! That was aggressive, and that eel almost just lost his head for the fourth time. Oh, I haven't seen him eat like that in a while. Dude. That was aggressive. Look at the chain eel, dude. This guy's so cool. Slithers on top like a literal snake, like a water moccasin. So Strange. The, the moral of the story, guys, is drop a like on, on this video. This is, it's, it's, a, it's a grind. You guys get like, we enjoy it. Don't probably get me like wrong. four hours of footage into about usually a 10 minute video, but now we're gonna make longer videos for you guys so you guys get, you know, you don't miss a beat, you get everything. A lot goes unseen. And I wish a lot went in here because I need to put some freaking weight on. You know what, fit? I think transformation's coming. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Monday. <laughs> At day. least I hit the gym and get up early and eat. You gotta start doing that too. Yeah, you know why? Because I'm a nocturnal human. You, you're a morning person. I'm not. I'm I a am not person. a morning person. I play Xbox till four o'clock in the morning on Fridays and Saturdays, by the way, guys. Yeah, and your weekend. You, you see me out on the war zone, Call of Duty, and, and someone's, you know, got 20 kills, just know it's me. 
I'm a, I'm a god. I should start a oh! pot or pants. Savage today. Now, for those of you wondering, where's the jack and where's the sheep's head? The sheep's head were being super weird after like a couple of days, so we just released them. And then the jack we released because I think he had a parasite in his brain. In his on his head when we caught him. The jacks are notorious for getting parasites when you catch them. So you gotta really examine them when you when you hook them and if you want to keep them in your aquarium. We ended up releasing him too because he was acting super weird. Look at this video of him. That's how he used to swim twirling in circles. And so, you know what? I think that parasite was getting the best of him and we released him back into my canal. So maybe we'll catch him in a couple days. Oh my God. Oh. But beasts, absolute beasts. All right, so now we fed the boys. I think we should get some uh, fish. Get some fish in here. Some fresh fish in the pond. I want to show you guys a little bit more of these fish because we were kind of in and out there. All right, where is this cool looking dude? There he is, pinfish and sergeant majors like crazy. Constantly restocking the there pond, baby. There you guys go, get in there. Adding more sergeant majors to the pond. Look it's a guy. natural, yeah, there's the other shape growing. That's a cool one. A natural ecosystem in here. Smaller fish, starfish, eels, then to the big fish. The big fish are gonna hunt when they like to, and that's just how it is. That's just how it happens, baby. There's that pinfish. That's such a good bait, dude. If I was the grouper, I'd smoke oh that. Oh my god, that pinfish is active, dude. There you go, there's the grunt. Good. These guys will lighten up really good once they, you know, get their bearings going. These guys will all school up, and you know, it's a never ending cycle here. But I'm thinking we should get really, really small fish, like really colorful small fish. Like imagine a bunch of clownfish in there. That'd be What's so gonna cool. eat? Clownfish in there. Pots and pans are not gonna eat the clownfish. I think that would be so cool if we had like literally Super like, small like 40 clownfish, a whole school of them. I wanna do that so bad. That'd be sick. I don't know if we ever will, but that would be a really cool idea. Remember to check out the brand new hats on shopfishguy.com. Absolutely epic. I'm really happy the way these guys turned out. We were worried because they're so detailed, but they are nice. You're gonna get me, dude. We have multiple things in the pipeline concerning hats, hoodies, designs, hoodies. I showed you guys some sneak peeks. It's gonna be awesome, guys. We got a good couple months coming up, so stay tuned and be ready for some OPIC. 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 Get ready for some OPIC freaking videos, man, <laughs> no. and some OPIC clothing, man. Be ready for some OPIC designs. Phew.